It's a beautiful spring day on Catacrom 4, Juanita, as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, oh, yeah. The Vox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Here is a nice little perk. In challenge mode, you can now buy basic mods at the weapons vendor. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. One of your combat bots is incapacitated. Use the revive command to bring him back to life. Interesting fact, folks, Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. Should we deploy the EMP on that platform? Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. I've upgraded your bots to turn bolt crank. Get close to a crank and press the right directional button. Folks, just a reminder, tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Free popcorn for everyone who participates. You should check out the shield link feature. Just press the right directional button to have one bot create a shield around the other one. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground! Why work up a sweat turning cranks when you can order your bots to do it for you? Ratchet, 
You can expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. Look alive, boss! We got company in here! appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. shot orb ahead. Jump towards it and hold down the fire button. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and carry you across the gap. Remember, don't try any of this at home. Go to a friend's house. What do you know, folks? Ratchet has found the Landstalker! This all-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacomb Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. Stay. 
Nick or Otto? Team Darkstar is breaking this place apart! Oh, I can't imagine the damage Bill Dread Zone is going to get for this. this carnage, folks, but it's time for the final showdown in the Catacrom Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. They're coming up from the ground! in the special sauce. Team Dark Star simply won't give up. Zombies, dead ahead! Oh, <laughs> no pun intended, sir. <laughs> Excellent work, Ratchet. I must admit, I was worried. Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. Your status on Dread Zone now allows you to access Planet Serathos. Challenges can be completed in any order once they are unlocked. <laughs> 